Ciao Alessandro, how are you? Ciao Giorgio, fine. I know that you have prepared something for us. Absolutely, yes. Can you summarize in few words what will be possible to see? Yes, it's a solution for service providers that enables their business customers to buy and activate a telephony service. But are you speaking about a cloud service? Yes, in fact, the enterprise can activate the service through only one click on the service provider web portal and then the service provider orchestrator will activate and create the end-to-end -end service. Great. So, the name of the solution is Enterprise Telephony as a Service. What is it? Enterprise Telephony as a Service is a solution that enables service provider to offer in only one click manage and host unified communication and collaboration services to their multiple autonomous business customers and the unified communication application are hosted in the service provider data center and will be delivered for a VPN connection. Moreover, the um, needed steps to create the service are conveniently orchestrated according to the NFP paradigm. This slide shows the solution overview. Two are the main domains of this solution. On the left side we can see the enterprise domain made up of the CP and the EP phones. The CP is connected through a VPN to the other important domain, the service provider data center, where all virtual elements are present. Cisco Orchestrator, Cisco Virtual CSR Router 1K, Cisco Virtualized Call Manager, Italtel NetMatch S as virtual session border controller and in the target architecture will also include the Italtel IMCS virtualized IMS core that of course will be connected towards legacy network or other EPIMS network. The activation of the telephony as a services is a well-defined sequence of steps to instantiate and configure the VPN between the CP and the CSR, to instantiate and configure the NetMatch SS session for the controller and to provision the code manager. May I interrupt you, Alessandro? Yes, of course. Sorry, I have a question for you. I want to be sure to understand. On the desk of the demo, we have Enterprise 1 and the relative phone, Enterprise 2 and the relative phone. Correct. And uh, in the cloud, where is the cloud? In the data center of Itatel? Yes, in the data center of Itatel, we have replicated what would be the service provider data center. And mm, this architecture also includes uh, a connection uh, to the real PSDN. So at the end of the demo, we can perform a call towards your mobile phone, for oh, example. Oh, wonderful. I can participate in your uh, demo. Wonderful. Yes. I put on the table my phone. And then <laughs> yes. we call you at the end of the demo. OK. Great. And uh, at the end of the demo, we can also perform also a call between the two different enterprises. And now we can start with the demo time. Yes. This slide shows the main building block of the demo. In the orchestration layer, we have the Cisco NSO, the unique orchestrator for both a physical and virtual network function, the Cisco ESC, the VNF manager of both Italtel and Cisco VNF. Then we have as a physical network function, the Cisco ISR, the CP in the customer premises, and as a virtual network function, the Cisco CSR 1K, the Cisco Call Manager, and it'll then at matches. This slide shows the mm, real demo architecture. We can see the two main domains, the customer premises on the left that it replicated on this table. We have the ISR as CP for the Enterprise One and the AP phone of the Enterprise One that, that he is always active and configured and the ISR and the, phone, and the AP phones for the Enterprise 2 that, that, as you can see, at the moment the AP phone it, it is not registered because the Enterprise 2 uh, doesn't exist. The two uh, CP are connected through a VPN with the service provider data center that is mainly made up of two Cisco UCS C-Series server. In the above one, uh, we have the uh, Cisco NSO and Cisco Call Manager virtual machines that runs on VMware hypervisor. 
and in the other one we have the Cisco DSC, Cisco CSR and Vita 10 at MHS virtual machines that runs on the KVM hypervisor in OpenStack environment. Since Telephony as a service is basically a cloud service, it will be activated through a web portal. This is an example of how the service provider portal could be. It's only an example built for this demo. When the enterprise uh, wants to buy the service, click on the Get Started button and the request towards the service provider will go on. After this, uh, Enterprise will fill in this page with the relevant data, such as the number of sites, in this case one, the number of public phone numbers, one, number of OVP phones, one, and number of simultaneous calls, one. As I said, this, uh, this is only an example of uh, the relevant parameters that could be inserted. The list could be larger. For example, we also include all the services that can be activated on the call manager. This page also includes the space for the enterprise to insert its physical shipping address that will be used by the service provider to ship the CP and the EP phones. Once the enterprise receives the CP and the EP phones, only one thing must perform just to power on the CP and connect the, the AP phones to the CP because the CP have, has the plug and play functionality. Very simple procedure. Yes, really simple. Just before to click on the purchase button that will activate the service, I would like to show you the two GUIs that we use to demonstrate how the second enterprise will be created and activated. This is the OpenStack GUI and as you can see in this page there are only the virtual machine for the CSR and the NetMHS for the enterprise one. No virtual machine are present for the enterprise two. And this page shows the uh, call manager GUI and uh, if we refresh the page, we see that uh, no EP phones are registered. If we come back to the uh, service provider portal, now we are ready to click the purchase button. When the enterprise customer click on the purchase button, this is the trigger for the Cisco orchestrator. The Cisco orchestrator, first of all, will configure the CP that uh, is already uh, powered and connected to the, to the network and then through the Cisco ESC the orchestrator will instantiate and configure the CSR 1K virtual machine of the Enterprise 2. Once uh, the CSR will be configured the VPN between the CSR and the CP will be established. The second step is the uh, configuration of the Cisco call manager through the Cisco NSO and uh, the last step is that the Cisco orchestrator again through the Cisco ESC will instantiate and configure with internet match as virtual machine. Oh Alessandro, probably something is happening. Now the phone is registered to the call manager. Yes, George, you are right. And now I demonstrate that Enterprise 2 is up and running. If we look at the OpenStack GUI, now we have the CSR virtual machine and NetMatchS virtual machine for the Enterprise 2. And if we go on the Cisco Call Manager GUI, we can see that now the AP phone is registered with its own IP address. Only after seven minutes, the telephone service is ready. Giorgio, can I call you? Wonderful, it's my time. Yes. But do you remember my number? Yes, so? of course. Okay, try. Alessandro, are you sure that all is functioning? Yes, it works. It's true. Yes, the phone <laughs> ring. 
Alessandro. Alessandro. Wonderful. Thank you, Alessandro, for this really impressive demonstration of your technology. Thank you. And uh, if you need further information, please contact uh, marketing underscore technology at itatet.com.